Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Exceedingly Average Gamer here for Planet Destiny, and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the This Week at Bungie post for today, March 1st, 2018. First up, starting next Tuesday, Lord Saladin is going to be back in the tower for the next round of Iron Banner. It's going to last until Tuesday, March 13th, and Lord Saladin is going to have a pulse rifle, an auto rifle, and a single shot grenade launcher available for purchase after playing the Clash game mode. So if you're looking forward to any of those three weapons, go ahead and make sure you check him out next week. Next up, we get some more information on some very valuable changes that are going to be making their way into PvP with the 1.1.4 update, which actually applies to Iron Banner as well. PvP design lead Derek Carroll tells us that in addition to the increased team sizes up to 6v6, match time limit is now going to be 12 minutes with a score limit of 125 points and a 7 second respawn time. Changes to the control game mode include the fact that all control zones are going to be neutral at the start, they're going to take longer to capture by default, and the capture speed is going to be increased with each successive guardian in the capture zone up to a maximum of three. In addition, guardians participating in a capture get more super energy. Rumble is also going to be coming back with this update with a single point for every enemy kill and no points for assists. And of course, mayhem is still mayhem. All these three modes are going to be on a weekly rotation to make sure things stay fresh and don't stagnate like they have been. And lastly, Doubles is actually going to be making a comeback as well after a little bit of retooling from the rule set that was used in Crimson Days. Next up, Bungie answers some questions about how we're exactly supposed to earn these Nightfall Emblem variants that we've heard so much about in the past few updates. Very basically, according to the dev team, the drop chance for each individual emblem variant increases with the score thresholds that are available in-game, with tier 1 having a threshold of 20,000 points, tier 2, 40,000, tier 3, 60,000, and tier 4, 80,000 points. It is worth noting though that Bungie is planning to adjust and retool exactly what the score thresholds should be for each consecutive Nightfall Strike, so it could change from the numbers we see here. And finally for this section, Bungie actually tells us why they removed the base Nightfall modifiers, and this is basically because they wanted to emphasize combat and let the community decide which meta would be successful for a higher tier Nightfall run. They do say they're open to bringing them back in the future, but for right now, they're out. Next up is some information about the spawning bugs that people have encountered, especially in the Leviathan Raid. Essentially what's going on is that the game is taking up too much memory because it's required to draw the characters over large distances. Basically what they say is you can get around this by sticking together as a fire team when you try out your new loot drops, or if that doesn't work you can try re-equipping the armor set you had when you spawned into the activity and that may fix the problem. And last up for this post is a list of known issues for update 1.1.3, including issues affecting Mercury Heroic Adventures, Destination Emblem Statistics, and Prestige Challenge Card Score Multiplier. So if you're having issues with any of those, you should go and take a look at this section of the update to make sure that the issue you're having is in their known issues. And that should just about do it for this video looking at the This Week at Bungie blog post from today, March 1st, 2018. Leave in the comments if you are excited by some of the changes or fixes that are going to be implemented in the next update, or whether you were hoping for something else. If you would like to check out my personal channel, which we'll have a link to in the description of this video, I've got a lot of different games going on that I've been playing. I'm actually going to be having one of my friends over later today, so we can hopefully record another episode of my Dark Souls Let's Play series, so that should go up in the next couple of days. And until next time, Guardians, I wish you all well.